click Tobathon. <laughs> Reservations are made. Daily click news. Black. <laughs> what is up, my flawlessly kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title, you already know we got a juicy click news today, okay? But before we get straight into it and I introduce who is coming in the click first i want to say and i want to apologize to my kings and my queens because i don't know what's going on with this platform i am looking for a new platform to upload my videos to because i just don't want to go against guidelines i don't want people to constantly keep demonetizing me because of certain things i'm saying i don't know it's always something every other week when it comes to youtube okay especially with this gossip ish you gotta be careful y'all been seeing that i'm in person a lot more so y'all let me know in the comments below do y'all like the in-persons a lot better are they a little bit more lengthy for y'all let me know how y'all feel about it but of course on this channel i will be doing both voiceovers and in person you know it just depends on how i feel okay i just wanted to come on here do the voiceover y'all know when y'all see this logo i got a speech okay so i do want to appreciate all my new kings and queens if you are new to the channel thank you guys so much for joining the click and for my day unos i love you guys for sticking with me i am going to do a lot better when it comes to trying to push this content out however y'all it is super hard for me to you know put this content out y'all because i got demonetized and then they want to re-monetize me like it's just so much and i'm trying to find a new platform so that way we don't have to worry about dealing with all the guidelines and y'all can hear my opinions and things like that okay so yes if you guys are new right now make sure you guys are smashing that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe and turn the post notification bell on hopefully you guys will be notified when i drop the click news because a lot of people say they don't okay that's all i got to say i ain't gonna ramble too much without further ado first in the click we got jada waiter back in the click today you guys now she haven't been in the click in a long time but we also got ari back in the click today you guys now you guys know when y'all see these two names you know it's gonna always be a little shady drama going on not too much but i did want to talk about it because i did see how things was playing out and you know i just kind of like was like you know what let me make my reservations on this because you know we all always talk about it okay now click ari just went on carisha please not too long ago and that episode actually aired out and people took it to a whole nother level now carisha did ask her i'm not gonna play it here because you already know they are super strict with using other people content so we just gonna talk about it okay now as you guys can see she was definitely on the stage i think this was a live carisha please and carisha asked um ari about jada waiter and their relationship and how she felt about it and ari basically was telling you know carisha that you know she was actually the fan favorite and the reason why she was the fan favorite is because she came on the show not acting like just the boss she was more raw and upfront and basically showed the real her to everyone so she said everybody basically gravitated to her now as you guys know they are with the second season of the impact atl so y'all gonna make sure y'all take a look at that but however you know jada waiter decided not to come back and because she's just not built for the reality television she felt like it was just too much drama and that's just not the light that she wants to be painted in whereas to ari feels like she loves it she loves that everybody gets an inside peek at her life these two are literally the same if you want to be technical they both have res they both have clout they both have their own fans and they're both the it girl and i hate the fact that two it girls can not get along but i really feel like it's a lot that's into it and i'm gonna give my opinion after this but i do want to read what someone had to say on twitter yesterday because a lot of people had some things to say and we're gonna also tap into the comment section because a lot of people did have different insights and i would like to read it to you guys so let's get straight into this tweet now click it looks like someone said i don't feel like it's going to hit the same without jada i'm sorry ari said laugh out loud i promise we don't give a f how you feel i'm sorry and she said make sure y'all tune in to the impact atl season two is out now what um child anyway so now click i'm just gonna keep it straight short and simple what this is is just two females who have huge egos okay and the fact is most times when you are in a room with two it girls nine times out of ten there's gonna be some type of animosity there's gonna be some type of competition and it just shouldn't be like that okay it's always that one person that wants to be the main attraction and i just feel like on the show it was
was just two strong personalities. But I do feel like Ari definitely has the most strongest personality and just the I don't give a f type of attitude and that's just who she is that's her personality i'm not gonna lie there's certain things that I, sp I spoke about in the past about her and i do feel like she does come off a bit harsh but at the end of the day that's just who she is and a lot of people gravitate to that now i will say that jada is super sweet from what she shows on the out exterior okay we don't really know her in real life however i feel like she like i said she just was not into the world being into her business and then them editing it the way that they edit it like we spoke about before she's not feeling the whole reality tv situation now do i feel like ari should have never answered that question or responded to that absolutely but at the end of the day you got to do what you got to do to make the people want to watch the actual show let's keep it real okay drama brings the views that's it okay now i do feel like if it was me and i'm unbothered i'm not going to respond to nobody i wouldn't even care about anybody opinion but this is not the way the marketing works in in this type of situation okay that's just how it goes okay if you don't start no drama most times people don't want to see it okay and that's just what people watch the show for is to see the drama okay unfortunately because jada even spoke out on an interview that i spoke about before previously in one of my click news she spoke to another person another blogger and basically said that she didn't like the way that they edit and they painted her out to play the victim card like she's just this goody two shoes when in reality she feels like it's a lot of things business business wise that they filmed that never made it to the television so she wasn't with it she she was under the impression that she was going to go on tv and just show her business side of things and really and truly i believe that we do need a show to see a whole bunch of black women who are in power who does have money who are very successful and and really went through the mud and, and worked their way on up so i think that she's just not with the whole reality drama side of things that she don't want people too personal but she also wants to give people some gems and show her a glimpse of her life and what she was doing and i don't think anything is wrong with that y'all let me know in the comments below do y'all feel like you know ari should have answered y'all feel like she was doing too much i'd really love to know but i do know that a lot of people had many different things to say so let's get straight into it one thing about jada she gonna rap cardi's tomorrow to verse down so y'all already know <laughs> Now that is definitely the truth Like at the end of the day A lot of people feel like this is a subliminal And if she feeling the lyrics Let her feel it okay Because she could do what she want to do And it is what it is And if it is a subliminal It is what it is Because she just literally be unproblematic Don't be saying nothing to nobody Then her name pop up And somebody got to use her For some type of clickbait Or something Some type of drama okay I never really see her come out Trying to start any trouble Or trying to be shady towards any girl Okay so that's just my opinion but click i'm gonna keep it real with you i have not tuned into the impact yet season two and i definitely will be tuning in this go around because it looks like a lot of people had their opinions already for the last two episodes that came out now i don't know if three episodes came out yet but i do know that i've seen two on bet plus but i will be tuning into that very soon but this person said zaz dior is weird as f fake literally sat at the table gaslighted carly Ari messy as a B want to be a mediator why Carly went on the impact Atlanta between Tay Ari Dez and Tucson it looked like they trying to pull the BS Ari did with Jada with Carly this season now a lot of people felt like Ari was being a super bully to Jada Wada I personally feel like she was not trying to be a bully I just think that's her personality honestly speaking y'all I do feel like Ari is a very strong personality sometimes she may come off as not humble uh, you will lie. <laughs> <laughs> who am i kidding that girl is not humble okay she came from nothing and now she is a woman who does have money and i do feel like she just don't care okay she will read you for filth and really just do not care no more she don't even think about the fact of her being broke her ever being broke in her life and it just is what it is and if you piss her off you will be called broke play <laughs> play period call your mama period so they these two definitely have a different you know personality and and you know it is what it is okay but she did say that she don't want no like it's no drama it's no beef you know she just said that she just don't have a desire to be cool and that is just okay you feel me i think everybody just wants to see these two fight because this girl right here said the real tea is that jada don't f with ari is because ari is a copycat i've been seen through it let's take a trip down memory lane who models 
for Shane Justin first. Someone clarified. Son name tatted on a neck. Belly button pair. Actual business brand clothes hair. Now phone cases. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the one of the main reasons why a lot of the influencers go back and forth with each other and fight is because you just is the problem. Call your mama. Period. Got me over here tight. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Y'all stay trying to pin these girls against each other. I highly doubt that, um, you know, Ari copying off of Jada. They literally are, I mean, come on, every there's every bad bitch in, you know, in the industry who's a, a very known influencer is rocking Shane Justin. Let's be for real. So I just really be thinking people that talk like this, y'all be the problem. Y'all be stirring shit up between the people it's the fans that always want the girls to fight it's the fact that jada now wants a makeup line seeing how well ari's is doing i wonder if people gonna see who's really the copy guy soon i know that ari was weak that jada trending on the day they show come out and she not even on it now click y'all can pause the video and read the rest of these comments but i do want to just say that a lot of the times it be the fans the fans love to stir the drama okay and also y'all be y'all be just putting a lot of the times fans definitely give people a big head and just make people super cocky and at the end of the day it just is what it is sometimes y'all just gotta let these girls be in their lane and let them do them you feel me because the drama and the back and forth is not going to bring nobody in the comment section no bread <laughs> okay so i be just so confused as to why people be so invested on having people fight each other it's just absolutely bomb Bonkers. But y'all let me know about this situation. Let me know what y'all feel about the whole situation. The shade that if do you think that Ari was throwing shade? Do you even think that Jada was throwing shade? Because you know, her listening tomorrow too could definitely be an answer as to you know how she probably really feel. And it's best that she just continue to stay silent because I love that for her. You know, at the end of the day, she seems very unbothered. I mean, just the fact that her name just get thrown into stuff is crazy to me. It just shows you that she definitely has that it factor it is what it is okay that is all i got for this click news i definitely wanted to just get into the discussion about jada waiter and ari fletcher because you know at the end of the day it's always something going on between them two and i know a lot of you wanted to hear what i had to say so that's just it okay i'm just tired of this old ass beef okay if the girls are not going to talk the girls shouldn't mention on each other that's just my opinion okay if you don't really particular the girl i wouldn't even answer no question about it let's just leave it alone i ain't worried about her she not worried about me we in two different lanes it is what it is if you guys are new make sure you guys are smashing this like button hitting that subscribe and do not forget to go inside these comments because i do pay attention i do try to write back as many people as i can and i just really love to interact with you guys but i do want you guys to get into the discussion click all right definitely will be doing an updated version video on the click news when it comes to the impact atl so stay tuned for that and i will see you guys in the next click news always remember if nobody told you that they love you today just know that i love you and i'll see you guys in the next click news 